What is the Mass? The Mass is a re-sacrifice of Christ. Where did the Mass come from? The origin of paganism in Romanism is very clear. When you study Revelation 1 to 5, you'll find, find there's a city called Pergamum. Pergamum was the center of the Semiramis worship. The Semiramis worship was of Semiramis and Tammuz. Mother, Semiramis, Tammuz, son. Let me tell you about Semiramis. Semiramis was a virgin who conceived a son. Now how it worked with her, which it didn't, it's mythology. Semiramis was here and Ra, the sun god, put a, a shaft of light on her and conceived a child in her. So she was virgin conceiving through the sun god putting light on her. And she had a son, Tammuz. And Tammuz was a very nice boy, but one day he was out in the field and the wild boars came and they mauled him and tore him into pieces, dismembered him, and Semiramis came out and found Tammuz in pieces. So she picked him up, put him in a basket. This is mythology. Can you believe anybody would believe this stuff? And, and took him home and mourned him for 40 days, and at the end of 40 days, he rose again. Let me ask you this. Are any of you from a liturgical background? Have you ever heard of Lent? How many of you have heard of Lent? How long is Lent? 40 days. Where is Lent in the Bible? It's not. How did it get there? Well, something happened. Constantine legalized Christianity because if you can't beat them, you might as well join them. He was losing his legionnaires. The legionnaires that were pushing Christians off the cliffs and, and uh, killing them with swords and putting them in the arena to get eaten up, those legionnaires, those Roman soldiers, saw the peace and joy and hope of the believers. And so what gradually happened was, after three centuries of persecution, more and more and more Romans, politicians, soldiers, were becoming Christians. And they were saying, you can kill me too, because I'm following Christ. Because once a year, you had to show your allegiance to the emperor. And you showed your allegiance by walking through the forum, the city clerk, the guards, the Roman soldiers, a bowl of incense, you picked up a pinch, you just sprinkled it over a little fire, a little flame, a little altar, and said, Caesar is Lord. You know, Curios, uh, Caesar. You know, Caesar is Lord. And they hand you a slip of paper, you were legit for another year. Every citizen had to do that. As the centuries went by, Christians would get up to that line and they would say, Jesus is Lord. That's why Paul said, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit. Why? Because when you said Jesus is Lord, not Caesar is Lord, the Roman soldier took you and either threw you off the cliff or put you in the arena or cut you up. So Christianity was life or death. Constantine said, we're wasting a lot of people, I'm gonna legalize Christianity. But he had a problem. He had a whole Roman system, the Pantheon. You ever been to Rome? The Pan, all Theon gods. Rome worshipped everyone. So he said, we'll just add Jesus on the shelf. But what he did is, when he legalized Christianity, he made Christianity the state religion. And he merged all the pagans who worshipped Semiramis, the mother, and the son. What is the main symbol of Romanism? Mary and Jesus, the Pieta, the, the whole mother-son thing. You always see big Mary and little Jesus on her knee. And Roman doctrine says that Mary is interceding for us next to Jesus. Do you understand what Roman Catholicism has done? They've ascribed to Mary the attributes of God. When people say they're Hail Marys, where is Mary, by the way? I mean, she was a genuine believer, a sinner who got saved, and now she's in heaven which the Catholics believe too. They don't believe she's a sinner and they don't believe she got saved, but they do believe she's in heaven. But when a Roman Catholic in Scroon Lake prays to Mary in heaven, they're saying, Mary can hear me, Mary can see me, Mary can help me. Do you know what those three things are called? Omnipresence, omniscience, and omnipotence. They're ascribing to Mary and the saints the attributes of God. All that came through paganism, and you can read it, it's in the notes.